This is non-calculator question number 14. College Board gives us a ratio of two complex numbers, complex numbers in the form a plus bi, where i is the square root of negative 1. And they ask you to rewrite this fraction in the form a plus bi. You can always recognize complex number questions because they have i. They typically remind you that i is the square root of negative 1. And they tell you what form to write it in. This is the hardest of the complex number problems. If you have 8 minus i over 3 minus 2i, or any fraction where the numerator and denominator are both complex numbers, to write in a plus bi form, you multiply by the complex conjugate of the denominator over itself. To get the complex conjugate, you keep the 3, you keep the 2i, and you flip the sign on the imaginary part. So this was negative, we make it positive. If you're multiplying the denominator by that expression, you multiply the numerator by the same expression because anything over itself is 1. And you're allowed to multiply by 1. That doesn't change your expression. Now we're going to use FOIL to multiply these complex numbers in the numerator. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 2i is positive 16i. Negative i times 3 is negative 3i. Negative i times 2i is negative 2i squared. My denominator is 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2i is positive 6i. Negative 2i times 3 is negative 6i. And negative 2i times positive 2i is negative 4i squared. We notice that the imaginary part in the denominator, 6i minus 6i, is 0. That's the reason we chose the complex conjugate. If you correctly multiply by the conjugate, you will get an expression with no pure imaginary part. Simplifying the numerator, that's 24. 16i minus 3i is positive 13i. Negative 2i squared is negative 2 times i squared, where i squared is negative 1. So negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. My denominator is 9. And then negative 4 times i squared is negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. So that's a denominator of 13. 24 plus 2 is 26, plus 13i over 13. That's 26 over 13, plus 13 over 13 times i, which is 2 plus 1i in the form a plus bi. So a equals 2. A equals 2 and B equals positive 1. They're asking for A, so that is choice A. I recommend that if you haven't done complex numbers very often, or even if you're just learning for the SAT, anytime you encounter one of these on a practice test, you just mark it to come back after the exam is over, answer the question they're asking, and then after the exam, go back and try adding these two numbers, 8 minus i plus 3 minus 2i. Try subtracting the numbers, 8 minus i minus the quantity, 3 minus 2i. Try multiplying them, 8 minus i times 3 minus 2i. And we already tried dividing. If you're looking to check those answers, you can add complex numbers on your graphing calculator. And come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.